Today, INL is helping maintain and extend the lives of America's nuclear reactor fleet while working with industry to demonstrate and deploy the next generation of nuclear power. Longtime nuclear leaders like Westinghouse, General Electric, Holtec, Southern Company, and a long list have joined with a growing number of nuclear startups like TerraPower, X Energy, Oaklo, Kairos, Radiant, Lightbridge, and many others. Sorry, I'm not going to be able to mention all of them. Collaborating with the laboratories on innovative reactor designs, fuel development, and associated technologies to address an expanding completion or uh, expanding variety of energy use cases. Our advanced reactor test beds are nearing completion, and in the next few years, we'll enable multiple private sector reactor demonstrations, de risking these technologies to support commercial adoption and deployment. We see an example of this as U.S.-based refinery and chemical production companies are funding engineering evaluations for power, steam, heat, and hydrogen production from existing nuclear power plants as well as advanced reactors. In support of these emerging technologies, U.S.-based Bloom Energy, Fuel Cell Energy, General Electric, and others are using the capabilities at Idaho National Laboratory to demonstrate high temperature electrolysis to produce hydrogen and oxygen. But every DOE lab has exciting stories to tell. Stories of harnessing research and development for the benefit of the American people and our industries. I believe that our 17 national laboratories are a primary difference maker, our nation's ace in the hole, if you will, that will enable us to win the competition between nations, enhance our standing as a world leader in energy and technological innovation, and ensure our economic prosperity. In closing, I appreciate very much the opportunity to be a part of this discussion and I look forward to your questions.